everyone welcome to another interesting episode of munches and thoughts my name is Pazanani. i am your chef today i'm joined by this beautiful woman my darling introduce yourself who are you where are you from thank you very much i couldn't have been in a better place but here today yes i am babalua funda gamaboza okay. i am from a company called western breeze okay. at the same time because we love munches and thoughts i am also an ambassador of dr Tababalo Funda Gamaposa Foundation. Okay. So we love being here. Oh, Nizizwele Geogus Namkanjin Gipete U Doctor Babalo Funda Gamaposa. My darling, welcome. Dr. Babalwa Funda Gamaboza, thank you so much. You are welcome in my kitchen. No more my kitchen now. It's our kitchen because we will be talking, eating, and drinking, of course. Babugele Emakaya, today we are discussing a sexology. Oh. My God, look at that egg. You can see that, Guti. Because she's an amplange, a kitchen. So, Babala, before I go further introducing all these things, please just give us an overview of what we'll be talking about today so that whoever that is watching are on point on their toes with us, of course. Thank you very much. I am indeed looking forward to the food also. Yeah. Uh, I promise you today we are going to be heating up. Hello. Because we are going to be talking about toys today. Mm, okay. We are <laughs> Adult toys, it doesn't matter what you want to call them. Mm. I usually want to prefer to call them adjuncts as an additional thing that any and everybody okay. wants okay. Okay. and needs in their sexual life. Hmm. Anyway, Babala, thank you so much. I am looking forward. I believe that our viewers as well, they are looking forward to learn from you. They are looking forward to have fun with you. Babala, just to appreciate you, Oguti Uvumile, Oguti Ngegbize, as you know, of course I'm a chef. So you need to know what I'm preparing. And you know, Oguti Lagyal, you want to cook your night? So I'm going to prepare a beef tail. I know some people, they will say ox tail. Yes, there is ox tail, there is beef tail. So because we are unique in this kitchen, a beef tail, okay? Yes. And then I will be doing a mashed potato. These are my potatoes. And this is my onion. This is my carrots. This is my celery, this is my garlic, my tomato, there is a coriander here, as well as a beef spice, there is a churemic as well as a paprika, and I've got amakari leaves, a cinnamon, as well as a dry mustard, and two spoon of olive oil. So now, let's cook yes as you all know that in this kitchen here yeah, we've got a fish bowl we already know what we are talking about but i'm gonna give you an opportunity now to choose a topic that will be driving a show as you can see i'm about to have a hamba are you ready i am ready to <laughs> become a full-time partner in this kitchen okay let's hear that now sex toys why can you please describe the kinds the types and why where they stimulate oh isn't this lovely can i have that <laughs> i had to read this thing again i babugele makaya nizi yes good like she ne guess she's and at the same time at the same time see that cheese yeah what cheesy but anyway um sex toys why can you please describe the kind type and why where they stimulate i can see this beautiful <laughs> oh yes why why do we need sex toys okay you know in the same way pata that you have been creating this beautiful dish that we are going to have yeah. later on you can see the color that you've brought in and a lot of spices and everything yeah sex toys form a very big part of our colorful sexual lives remember a sexual life is a journey mm. that starts from the day you are born mm. until the day you die but of course it gets to a point where it is the peak and this yeah. is why we are talking about this. Mm. We need sex toys for different reasons. Mm. Like for instance, I'm just going to pick and choose in between. Mm. One, these are exercise balls called Kegel exercise. Cold, now, cold, cold. Kegel exercise. You, you can hear the weight as well. They are so... 
out of this Crazy. world. These yeah. are meant for women. Mm. Each and every woman needs to exercise their vaginal muscle. Okay. A vagina is a muscle like any other muscle. Okay. It needs to be exercised. So we can use them for exercise. And yeah, it's doing you? Okay. Okay. I promise you they come in different shapes and sizes like for instance if you look at this it even comes with the different weights for instance this will also vibrate it comes pata this comes with a software okay. that you upload in your phone so you can increase the sorry vibration. sorry sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> a software that you can upload Griffoniaco Yes. Okay. Okay. Remember now you've got your balls inside. The aim is for you to exercise. Yes. Okay. So you put them in there and you can then control how much you want it to vibrate. And when you want it to stop, you want it to stop. Now these they are not only for exercise in this case. You can also use them to have fun with your partner. Where in there are the ones that are controlling the vibrations. You could be at home if you've got children, you've got other people that are there, and you could be playing your game at the same time. So it's also fun. So I can also have this name, uh, one of them, like maybe I'm at work. Yes. You know sometimes it's when I stress my some sevens in. So I'm sure this can help me to release that stress. You could not have said it any better. I always say, Pata, for one to exercise, remember at work, that's when you are going to spend a lot of your time. Yes. By the time you come home, you are ready. Because every time you remember your vagina, I you need to fix my stuff because gas is not cool. But carry on, yes. Yes. Now let's, now let's move on to other reasons why we need toys. They're not only for exercising and for fun. You can also use them for medicinal purposes or when somebody has gone through a, some kind of difficulty and yeah. they can be used for treatment. This is toys. Then, yes. This okay. is then done through a clinical sexologist where they would say because you've gone this kind of trauma you might find that other people might have been raped and now they are struggling with having their own sexual life space back in order. So they would then have to go through that and toys are utilized for that. We also use toys thirdly for fun just to increase fun in the relationship to say what is it that you can bring on board remember pata it's a lifetime journey yeah. you do get tired at certain point of certain things what is it that you can bring in into the relationship yeah. to make sure that yeah. there is fun you could have for instance something like this this is an andy with a twist okay now an andy with a twist so you'd be wearing your andy we do have for men also because See. everybody has yeah. got a twist yeah yeah Okay, I want to read this. Please. From, from that Andy. From the Andy. Okay. Tell me a new fantasy you would like us to try together. You? So it also introduces you to what could be more fun in your relationship. Everybody has got fantasies. Yeah. yeah Everybody yeah, should yeah. have a fantasy. But of course, there are those that you might feel like, oh, God, I don't want to discuss with my partner. But when you then have a twist, Yes. It gives you ideas that you can expand because what is important in a relationship, especially in a sexual journey, is that you need to expand. Uh, uh, I, I like what you're saying, but now I want to understand. I'm still here. As you, this is a, a conversation. Yes. We can go as far as we can, but not forgetting the main. Yes. So, of course, not everybody is brave. The reason why I brought this, Pata, you will see. This is called a rabbit. It's almost yes. the same as what you have. Okay. It's a rabbit. It also vibrates. The good thing about this toy, before we go about the fact that not everybody is going yes. to be responsible enough to say I am, because you yes. take responsibility. Yes, yes, I yes, am yes, using yes. the word responsibility yes. enough because it's your journey. You should be responsible. There are those that are scared. But this is one of the best toys. It has got this outside which we call the rabbit, which is outside. Because for women, the fun, remember part of it is that in that question we need to say, where do you use them? Where do we, yeah, they stimulate. Yes, yes. So this part would penetrate the vagina. And this one will be outside. And this will be stimulating the clitoris. Because for women, the clitoris is one of the areas that you have in your body that has got a lot of nerve endings and so it needs a lot of attention i always say pata for women it is not inside is on top you know i like what you're saying is not inside is on top this is whatever we get by me makaya and then give me to rabbit today i'm trying to read me no rabbit name i want to ask you something uh, babala before we go far like guys it, it needs someone to be brave to bring this, to talk about this. You know, the nice thing is just that images and thoughts. We go 
Kulezi ndaba ndaba ngafunu kuluma ngazu. That's why, it, like, I had to bring you, my darling, on board. Of course. I had to. So, right now, like, I, I, I did a, a, some survey on my side before, just to get, you know, I spoke to some women. They were saying, like, if you introduce toys to your husband or your boyfriend, it would be like we are undermine. Oh, yes. Because, Pata, what we have done is that we have segmented sex. Sex is a very complex space. Wherein, in certain times, you need to introduce the toys. Mm -hmm. You might, for instance, get into a car accident, get some form of disability, and you can no longer function. Yeah. But you still need to satisfy your partner. So this will come in. But that person, Pata, because you're asking this question for the second time, yes. I, I get taken yes. away. Yes. I get taken away. I love sex. I love sex myself, darling. And hey, sex is good because I glow. I believe you glow as well. If, if, you, if it wasn't for sex, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. You sex toys. It is always best that you start introducing by something that you are going to use yourself. If you are female, introduce the balls. These are for exercise. Pata, there was a time. The balls, I see three balls here. Not those ones. <laughs> There was a time when we thought what matters is the size. We have seen through research that as much as the size might matter to indivi different individuals, but also the strength of that muscle, be it the anal muscle, be it the vaginal muscle, also matters. So you introduce what you are going to use yourself and have your partner to benefit. Now you have started introducing to say, now let's go into this space. When you start by saying you are just going to bring something like this yeah. at home without having a discussion, yeah. Of course, now you are then looking down on your partner. So start by introducing something that is sleek, that is not intimidating, that is not suggestive of size, that is not suggestive of the fact that you are looking down on your partner. But you are saying we are corrective or we are introducing a twist in our relationship so that we do not have a boring sexual lifestyle. Wow. Baba Lua. Yo. I'm speechless. I am speechless. For the first time, me being speechless on set. Whilst you're still speechless. <laughs> <laughs> so introduce. You can also introduce lubricants. They are very important. There are instances when you need lubes, yeah. especially for those that also enjoy anal sex. Yeah. It's very important that you might introduce one that is also anal relaxing because we need to realize that mm. the experience might not be the same, be it you are a man or a woman, that you need something that's going to relax so that you can enjoy. But it's very important if you are going to be utilizing condoms, it needs to be water-based. Because if it is oil-based, it might break the condom. Of course, you need some form of lubricant. I saw even with the food, we had oil. Because we don't want it to stick in the pot. We do need oil or a lubricant because the condom might burst. As she mentioned that, the oil was here for wood. And the Sia Songuti oil, it helped it to slide. Of course, we want things to slide. At the same time, mm. you might be having a mother-in-law that wants to stick her nose and comes to your bedroom. You, you might not want to go this direction. We have it I all. Love I love rabbits. I love rabbits. Rabbits is beautiful. And then, Lona Simbizu Kutumanilo. Lo is just your normal dildo. Unfortunately, also, she does not vibrate. But there's an advantage on this one. This one, you can stick on the wall. Remember, ah! it also brings exercise. You stick wherever you want so that you can do what you need to do the way you choose to do. Also, yes. so, Lorna, I'm advantage is why. Yes. Then you can sit on top. Or you can just um yes. or you can on, on uh, he wants action already. <laughs> but he he wants action already when we see the anyway back okay. to okay. you. So we can also use them for exercise. Mm. Now you put it in, in a position because sex has got a very good advantage. Well, this is one of the sports. I always say a sport or a game mm. where you get to exercise all your muscles because when you've put the this one yeah. anyway, then you can work yourself. That's a very nice exercise so it is also very good for masturbation masturbation is a very big and a good part of our sexual lives and so toys also come into that space now your mother-in-law yes i wanted to hear about the mother-in-law mother but some of us we don't have mothers-in-law okay but just in case you might be having children yes. that easily come in and out of your of, of your bedroom Whoa. now if you have 
our toys like this, they will they suggest it like, oh, what is daddy doing? But now, the evolution and transformation. This is a makeup brush. Okay. It vibrates. So you just simply make it vibrate where you want it to vibrate. Feel free to open it. So you've got toys that you can also use as he is opening that you can use for couples. Like for instance, this is one of the most beautiful toys. Pata. Mara, why all these toys of yours are vibrating? Remember, now. Ooh, lay on guitars. <laughs> <laughs> there is one okay. that we are looking for. No, no, no. Amada, in law, just wait a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, 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 I'm taking, taking away now. now. You are taking away yeah. now. Let's leave the, uh, the brush yeah, yeah, for now. Just wait, yeah. Now, this is a couple's toys that you can also use as an individual. As you can see, it vibrates on the lower part and the top part. Mm. If you are female, you can easily insert it inside. This part is inside, this one is outside. So it takes care of the clitoris. If you are male, you can see it's very. It can open up, almost open up, so you can easily get to your peace spot. Let's talk about the peace spot because we can. Do very. Yeah. You, you, you know, um, before we go there, Babugele Emakaya, as you all know, I have said it before, Oguti Imanches and Thoughts, it's where Sileta is Zinto, Aband Abangafun Kulumangazo, but Sia Fundisa at the same time because you know when Babalwanem, let's go to as Fun Kulumangas because it's Sia Saba. You know, it's like then, back then, Abba Zalbe too, they never experienced such. But we are new generation. So let's, like, lay on a Ingenza dizzy. But go back to the peace spot, yes. Let's go back to this peace spot. You know, women, that, which is what we have known all this time, it is referred, but women have got what we refer to as a. Um, a sorry, a, Ma, uh, sorry, Maui Presa, it can change if you. Because I see now, it's, 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 it's ooh, now it's too much. Please. How can I? Okay, now it's getting there. I want to close it so that I can concentrate. So that now can, I can't You can see Pata is no longer concentrated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Now yes, it's yes, off. Yes, 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 All right. Yes. So, women have got what we refer to as the G-sport. Mm. And that's what we have been talking about all these years. Mm. But men have got something that we refer to as the P-sport. Now, where is the P-sport coming from? It's the men, prostate. Okay. I, I love what you're saying now. Like, back to business of the day now. We always say, G-spots here and dot. G-spots young fast. Now, let me say you're a woman, because young fast, it sounds, uh, uh, yeah, let me just say a lady or a woman. Yes. So, right now, uh, there's a G-spot and P-spot. Now, the P-spot is the prostate sport. And that's for Abantu Bes Lisa. Nizizwele ge kune G-spot ne P-spot. G-spot e Abantu Bes Fazane. E P-spot e Abantu Bes Lisa. Yes. How okay. you find them is the same thing. But for the G-spot, you find it, of course, on the top part, on the top wall of the vagina. Okay. It's just two phalanges of your finger okay. and you have reached it. For men, the P-spot, you will easily find it. Again, as far as the second phalange of your finger, okay. in the penis, facing, in the anus, facing the penis. In the olden days, those that went to doctors, that's how it used to be examined. Today, it, you can take blood so that you can see whether your prostate is happy or not, or is becoming diseased now the peace port this is where men if you are able to touch it and touch it nicely i mean you have an instant erection you know we know that a penis it thinks about its life when it wants to erect it goes but if you reach the peace port it goes i am here i know you've touched me so every man it doesn't matter the person that you choose to love that you choose to fall in love whether you are what is called straight for a bit, lack of a better word whether you are bisexual whether you are gay we will have the peace spot and it is a pleasurable spot if you know how to find it it does not have to be found by somebody that you do not know which is why we have something that we refer to as pegging part pegging what is pegging now? now? Pegging is an instance where if you choose to fall in love with a female, but you want to explore your whole body. Remember, Pata, we said sex is an individual journey, walk from the day you are born until the day you die. Yes. Another dynamic that I want to leave today is that from your toe to your hair, the whole thing is a sexual organ. Now, it doesn't matter the person that you choose to love. Now, explore your entire body. Pegging. Pegging is when you have almost a panty or a 
strapping. They come in panties. Yeah, but now we're going to go to the other Like, angas, no, ba 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 ba. Nam sanje, yes, we're going to go to the And I hope everyone is learning. Yo, this is too much. We are cooking, not oxtail today. You said it. What it is? It's beef tail. It's beef tail. Okay, back to pegging. Now you've got this strapping that you have. You are just a woman, but you want to pleasure your male counterpart that you love because they have a prostate and a pea spot, and you can only reach it through the anus so you then have toys like this for instance this one would fit into one of the straps and then you peg your man because the prostate needs to be taken care of wow 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 okay yeah you what else let's choose something else no no, no. let's go back to mother-in-law mother-in-law now these are the toys why i'm referring to mother-in-law or our children you know i thought it was for my face as umak beth will do my face I yes yeah. that's the main aim that's why these things have become so sleek and it's so classy and elegant I you. like Macbeth must start using this yes now. and now this also another thing remember the entire body as i said is a sexual organ mm. you will never know where your biggest orgasm comes from comes from sorry maybe it is coming from your neck and you can reach it with this maybe it comes from under the balls you can reach it but uh, Babal, i want to i want to ask you something now you know what we are talking about it's very very important hmm. it's very important you know i've learned so much now yes. talking to you today in the kitchen yes. and yes. you know we, we we hide from the book oh yes man we hide from the book. Oh, you know what? I'll go to school and study for my degree, my honors, my doctorate, whatever that you decide to. And then we forget about these things that we're talking about today. Pat, Pat. Wow. I said to you, I'm going to say this again to our listeners. Sex is an individual journey worked from the day you are born until the day you die. So it means you have to transform and evolve it as you, you go along. Sure. This, this whole thing needs your attention and all of it, it is sexual. Do you have Mlaleli Emakaya? Because I don't mm, want to ask mm, Pata. Mm. Do you have Because of Do you anyway. have a sexual strategy? Each and every one of us, right now you have a plan on how you are going to expand munches and thoughts. Yes. This is a journey that is a big part of your life. Yes. At some point, I'm going to be 55 years old yes. and I am going to have, uh, my periods will stop. Yes. And means I'm going to have dryness. Am I prepared that I need to start buying? Do I have a strategy to say I am able to have five orgasms a day? Mm, mm. How am I going to transform them and even translate my sexual journey into a spiritual journey? Mm, mm, I always mm. ask Pata, have you prayed yourself into an orgasm? Have you orgasms yourself, orgasm yourself into a prayer? Because this thing is something that you need to translate every day. You need to have a strategy to say, I've been having five orgasms, I want to have ten. I want to have multiple orgasms. This is what I want to do. And these are the agents that can assist you in expanding that journey. Yo, Baba Alwa. Hi, Babu Gele Makaya. I thought I was the best chef host, but today I bow. So, Baba Alwa, we are having this beautiful wine from e It's so fine. Babu Gele, this is a beautiful wine, and I will tell you a story about this wine when we go along the journey. So, Baba Alwa, I want to understand now before we, 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 I can check my food. What is this, my darling? Okay. What is this? Now. Is it for oxygen? Of course. Each and every part of your body needs some form of oxygen. Yeah. When you want to have a lot of blood, remember how sex occurs or what, what happens during sex. Part of it is that you need to have a lot of blood going to that area. For you to have an erection is because blood has stopped going to certain areas and it is directed. Mm. to the to the penis and then you can have an erection it's the same thing for a woman to be wet and even for the anus to be wet it needs you to direct the blood there so this is a very nice pump so you simply put it wherever you want to put it it could be anal if you choose you put it across there and then you start pumping and if it once it creates a cell so it brings the blood into that area and you start feeling the warmth and the, it, this is one of the most beautiful beautiful toys that you can have again when your mother-in-law walks into your bedroom it's an oxygen mask <laughs> and indeed it, it will be an oxygen mask to your sex life so 
But you, Baba, man, Baba, I as we mean, you are too good. At the same time, you are chabula moba. Come, Nandi, Lana, you fund this day's name. You are born, Baba, Lwa, Lana. Something for men. You know me, I love men. No, no, no. Put that. I, we are coming there. I right now we are still here. We are, we are. But anyway, Baba, get Makaya. I hope Nimzule Uba Balwa. And this is beautiful. I think we need to check the food. We need to eat now. And then so that Sibes Kulma Sibes Sildamanch. How is that? Yes, please. Thank you. And we're enjoying the wine. This is my beef tail. And then I will be using potato for mesh. Olive oil, my onion, celery, garlic, coriander and beef spice. Churamik and paprika. Bay leaves, cinnamon, as well as dry mustard. salt and pepper. Tomato. Carrot. And I've got in my red wine. <laughs> as well as stock. 